guys in this video we are going to understand the concept of diagonalization now basically what does this term mean you have to understand the definition or the what why we are finding this how to, how to find this all this we will try to understand in this video and this is based on the two cross two we will try to solve one problem also now diagonalization means basically means you have to just conversion it is basically conversion okay conversion of what from what you have to convert from a given matrix suppose a is the matrix you have to convert this matrix into diagonal matrix i hope you know diagonal matrix where the diagonal elements will be present non diagonal elements will be zero now the diagonal from given matrix you have to convert into diagonal matrix and the diagonal matrix the diagonal elements will be there okay that elements will be the eigen values of the given matrix okay that will be the eigen values try to understand this okay so basically you are converting the given uh, matrix into diagonal matrix and then the inside uh, the diagonal matrix will contain what will have the diagonal elements and that diagonal elements will indicate the eigen values of the respective the matrix okay so we'll try to understand the working rule of how to find the diagonal matrix uh, for 2 cross 2 so here is the question if a is a matrix okay find all eigen values then eigen vectors of a that means the matrix a and hence find p p is nothing but the modal matrix modal matrix we'll try to understand basically this is a matrix in which eigen vectors will come we'll try to understand okay now d equal to d is nothing but the diagonal matrix okay p inverse again i said p is nothing but the modal matrix inverse of that into a a is the given matrix into p again so we'll try to solve this problem now thing is that first step whenever you get this type of question where you have to find the diagonal matrix the first step is that you have to find the cartesian equation now how to find the cartesian equation polynomial equation we can say um basically you can go by any of the methods okay so it's uh, basically i will go by the simpler method how to find we'll go by lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 where s1 is the traces or the sum of the main diagonal elements okay so what is the sum of main diagonal elements 4 minus 1 is 3 so it is basically 3 lambda plus what is s2 determinant of this 4 into minus 1 so it is 4 into minus 1 it is minus 4 minus 4 minus 3 into 2 it is basically 10 so you have to place it as what 10 now next step after prove after getting the cartesian equation next you have to solve this equation okay so in order to solve this equation what you have to do you have to just to try to understand you can solve by calculator also or you can go by the normal method by splitting up the middle term so i'll just do it so lambda square minus 3 lambda it's basically i can use minus 5 lambda plus 2 lambda okay plus 10 is equal to 0 from this i'll get lambda plus 2 and lambda minus 5 which is equal to 0 so from this i'll get lambda values as what minus 2 and minus or oh, sorry plus 5 okay so i got the two values now the second step comes here so is we can consider this as a second step also now the next step is that you have to find the eigen vector now how to find the eigen vector you have to just put it in this form a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 now basically this is the we'll assume some this is basically the eigen vector we'll assume it has what x y column matrix okay now when you assume so basically you have to bring in this form and you have to substitute one one at a time and try to find out the eigen vector so let us do this part now all the things okay fine so a minus lambda i you have to bring so this is a 
minus lambda you have to do so 4 minus lambda 2 3 minus 1 minus lambda into x is x y we'll consider this is the, just the assumption okay so you have to consider this as what eigenvector later on we'll find out the x and y values and after doing this part you have to substitute one at each time that means in place of lambda you have to give minus two and you have to find the eigenvector then you have to put plus five then you have to find the other eigenvector now here as i said you have to substitute the lambda value as two and you have to find what the uh, matrix so i just found out the matrix basically all you have to do is what four minus lambda that thing I have just converted I have to just substitute and find the value now from this what we can do is just simple calculation now from this I can form the equation so basically you have to multiply and form the equation so first equation will be 6x plus 2y is equal to 0 okay then 3x plus y is equal to 0 so these are the two equation when you see these two equation you can see that both are the same equations means if you divide this y or take the common factor as 2 you will get the same equation as 3x plus y so these two are equations are same so it doesn't matter so basically what we can do so I'll tell you one easy technique so basically you can go by the converting this matrix into echelon form and then find the equation okay that also is possible so from this how to find the eigenvector simple method I'll tell you so 3x plus y is equal to 0 you have from this I can get 3x equal to minus y the all all you have to do is that you have to get the coefficient of x and y as unity unity means what coefficient as one that's it now for, for, for this you can just divide throughout by what 3 in order to get as 1 okay so I'll just divide so I'll get 3 3 cancel 1 divided this by whole thing by what 3 understand so minus one, y by 3 now here unity means positive 1 okay I don't want negative 1 so you just take this denominator so you are just converted this into what unity coefficient now all the thing whatever is below y, x and whatever is below y that becomes the eigenvector so we have x x y as the eigenvector so basically whatever is below x becomes x below y becomes y that's it this is the eigenvector okay so this is a simple technique you can use to find out the eigenvector now let us observe the second part that is lambda is equal to 5 now you have to just substitute here lambda basically this we had initial one so basically here we have to substitute first we substituted minus 2 so we got this values and next you have to substitute 5 from this you have to get the eigenvector now basically we will form the equation minus x plus 2y is equal to 0 3x minus 6y is equal to 0 okay now here also you can observe that both the equations are same okay now choose any of this so let us try to understand this one or I'll take this part also okay minus x plus 2y so 2y is equal to what x I'll get now what I have to make I have to make the coefficient of both of this as 1 here it is not 1 but here it is 1 so I have to just divide throughout by what 2 okay simple thing so you have to just divide by 2 so y by 2 is equal to x by sorry y by 2 into 2 is so basically 1 okay 2 to get cancelled x by what 2 now whatever is the denominator of the respective x and y values becomes the x denominator is 2 y is 1 so this is the eigenvector simple okay so we got this as eigenvector and this as eigenvector after finding out the eigenvector you have to find out the next step is that you have to form the modal matrix p that is basically the combination of these two you have to write as it is 1 minus 3 2 1 the thing comes here the doubt comes here is that see which one you have to write first this one or this one you can choose choose any of this at last what happens is that when you find out the diagonal matrix okay 
So when you get the eigenvalues in this form, it will be the reverse of that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'll just show you after this. Okay. So basically, we found out what the P matrix. Now what you have to do? You have to bring it in what D is equal to P inverse A P. Okay. P inverse A P. Now we have A, we have P, but we don't have P inverse. You have to find first P inverse. Now how to find P inverse? That is basically adjoint A by what determinant A. This is a normal method you can go for. Okay. Now the thing is that if you want to try out with the calculator also, I'll just show you how to find out that also. So I'll just show you in this calculator, I have this calculator, I don't know about the other calculators. So I'll just show you how to solve in this calculator. So basically we have this matrix and you have to find the inverse of this. So you have to go to the mode. Okay. Then here we have matrix option. Okay. So press on six. So you'll get matrix A, matrix B, matrix C. Choose one of this. I'll choose matrix A and you have to choose the order of the matrix that means here we have square matrix 2 cross 2 so you have to choose 2 cross 2 that is 5 and you have to give the values as per this 1 2 minus 3 and 1 okay so we have entered all the values now press on button that will be stored that values will be stored in the calculator itself okay then press shift and here you can see matrix option here 4 press shift 4 you will get this type of this thing now here you have to choose what 3 that means matrix A okay then you have to press inverse how to find the inverse you have to find the inverse so you have to choose this one here you can see x power minus 1 so that is basically you have to press now it is matrix A inverse you have to press equal to you will get it in point wise if you want in fraction yes you see here it is 1 divided by 7 so you have to write these values 1 by 7 minus 2 by 7 1 by 7 and 3 by 7 just you have to write these values okay this is how you can calculate by the using by using calculator also okay so let us try so by the normal method also you will get so basically adjoint a means basically for the 2 cross 2 it is easy to find out determinant a what is determinant a of this 1 into 1 minus this thing it is 1 by 7 or oh, oh, 7 okay so i can just write 1 by 7 and adjoint a means just you have to interchange it will remain the same interchange the diagonal elements and change the sign of the non-diagonal elements this will be 3 and this will be minus 2 that's it now as you have got in calculator some 1 by 7 and all don't get confused it's basically i have taken here determined day outside when you take 1 by 7 outside you will get the same thing okay it's fine okay now the thing is that we have found out the p inverse now just you have to find the diagonal the matrix that is d is equal to p inverse so i'll just write p inverse what is that so 1 by 7 you take outside 1 3 minus 2 1 what is a a is basically the question given for 3 minus 1 and 2 then p is this one minus 3 2 1 okay now you have to multiply all this and you will get the answer now thing is that you can go do by the calculator also okay so i'll just do it and just let you know the answer so after finding out all this i'll get the answer as 1 by 7 multiply this and this then whatever answer you get multiply with this you will get minus 14 0 0 35 this is basically the no, uh, diagonal matrix and just take minus 7 inside you will get what minus 2 0 0 and 5 now here you can observe what thing you can observe that earlier we found out the in the initial stage this is basically what lambda is equal to minus 2 plus 5 this is basically the eigenvalue here you can observe the same thing minus 2 and 5 are on the diagonal as i said before that diagonalization is the process in which you will get what diagonal matrix in which the diagonal elements will be the eigenvalues which we have found out earlier this is basically the eigenvalues now observe here as I said, if you change this column matrix here and bring it here, only change comes here is that you'll get 5 here and minus 2 here. That's it. Okay. 
it's the same thing no need to worry you can choose this one also in front or that means first column and you can choose this one also anything is fine the basic thing is that you should get the diagonal matrix in which the eigenvalues should be there on the diagonal elements okay so this is a procedure you have to find what the diagonal diagonalization basically you have to find so basically we have found out as per the questions eigenvalues we have found out first step so i'll just brief out the uh, working rule the first thing characteristic equation you have to find out anyways uh, it's fine if you choose uh, any of the alphabets okay now characteristic equation you can denote it by delta a lambda because i have used lambda here okay now first step first step characteristic equation after that from that you will get eigen values just simplify it or you can use calculator also from that you will get eigen values after getting eigen values you have to write it in this form in order to get what eigen vector so you will get this write it in this form this is nothing but the eigen vector x and y you can choose x1 y1 it depends on you okay whatever you can choose now here you have to put lambda values one by one that means you have to choose minus 2 first or you can choose any of this first choose one value minus 2 substitute here you will get what eigen vector for the first then you have to go for the so basically you have to go for the okay so here i just show you how to basically simplify this you can go for the eclon form convert this equation to eclon form so i don't uh, want to do it that way so basically i have found out the other technique to do this method or the, to get the eigen vector so after getting eigen vector all that after getting here you will get one vector here you will get one vector okay from lambda equal to minus 2 and lambda equal to 5 you will get one one vector each after getting one one vector each you have to proceed with the modal matrix okay after finding out the modal matrix all the things what you have to do you have to just find out d which is equal to p inverse ap okay p inverse basically means adjoint a by determinant a you can use a calculator also i showed you how to do then you have to find d substitute all this you will get the answer that's it okay